Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I had a very interesting day. Um, I'm going to be going over some of the challenges uh, newcomers into cybersecurity are having looking for a job. But before I get into that, I want to tell you today that we've been hit with ransomware. And I say we, but you know, one of the users decided to download something and kicked off this whole chain of events. I, I was getting ready to go to launch and I get a message on Teams from one of the desktop guys and saying, hey, where should I redirect this issue to? And of course they messaged out to me and that's where all the fun began. Machine was relocated back to my physical location so I can investigate. I haven't done so yet. I left it as is. We quarantined it, took it offline. And of course the user surprisingly has admitted to doing something that they shouldn't have. Now, if they claimed like most users would do, like I didn't know I couldn't do that or I didn't do that. I don't know what happened. And you would have to dig a lot deeper, but because they were up front and forthcoming, it made it a lot easier. So obviously we're going to go over all of that. But anyway, that's just my uh, hectic day. One aspect of my hectic day, I got tons of stuff going on and you may or may not want to hear more about it, but maybe one day I'll do another video in regards to all that. But today I want to go over on LinkedIn. What I saw was pretty interesting and this is not the first time I've seen it, but you know, it's coming up more and more frequently. And what is it that I'm talking about? This right here, this meme specifically from the office. Well, there is a global cybersecurity skill gap of 3.5 million people. Stop expecting three to five years of experience for entry level positions. It's so damn true. And of course, this particular post got a lot of, you know, comments and a lot of reposts and, and I guess likes, if that's what they call them here. Yes, it is likes or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, it is crazy and it's very insane to expect any entry level to have that many years of experience. Now, maybe it's a little, you know, off, but even asking a entry level for one or two years, I feel like is expecting a lot, right? If you're going to hire entry level, you best hire entry level to come in and you train them to what you're wanting them to do specifically for the job, right? So it makes it really difficult to land that first cybersecurity job. And then of course you're watching this video like how is Cyberhack helping me in this situation? He's just repeating whatever he sees. Well, I do have a few suggestions, which I have done in the previous videos, and I'm hoping that you guys can utilize that. And if you haven't done so already, maybe I'll link it if I know how to do all that fancy stuff. But my thing with this whole not having experience looking for your first job is creating your profile, meaning your LinkedIn profile, sell yourself, take all these different labs, your study material courses that you've taken during college or trainings, post them up there, take as many quizzes or certification of attendance, meaning you've completed like the Google cybersecurity uh, training, right? And you get a certificate, post that on your LinkedIn and maybe other free that you don't actually have to pay like thousands or hundreds of dollars to take. And there are things out there uh, and, and, you know, attend or even participate or sign up for like sites that, you know, you can do labs and projects, right? Um, you know, there's, there's like hacker labs and all these other fancy ones that you can just join, learn the concepts, post up your certifications or certificates that you've completed it. And, you know, maybe it has like a few questions and answers to quizzes. So you can do all that. So let's just go over high level. Some of the comments that are here, right? Um, there isn't a skill gap. There's a hiring gap. I saw, I read that one this morning too. And I was like, well, that is true. Uh, it's a pay gap. People uh, pay people and the good ones will show up. That's how it works. We're in a very strange time right now. And I'm going to go over a couple of things in regards to pay as well. Um, I've been noticing because I'm an advocate for practicing, uh, 
you know, just sitting in interviews, even though you're not looking for any jobs or changing jobs specifically. I just love sitting through interviews and going through that motion because it gives you a better insight to what's going on currently in the market. And right now, as far as what jobs are offering, even for more skilled and experienced, it's got it's coming down a little lower now. And I'm not getting as many bites like I did a year or two ago as I am now. So a year or two ago, it was popping. Everyone's hiring. But unfortunately, even now, I'm hearing cybersecurity uh, experts, beginners, entry, whatever it is, they're getting part of this layoff because they're part of IT. Um, you know, some may argue like uh, cybersecurity shouldn't be part of IT, but ultimately it's part of IT. A lot of a lot of devices apparently fall under IT that even I manage. And I'm like, why are we managing this? But anyway, uh, I'm just like ranting all day, right? Uh, it, it's, it, it, it does get tiring, uh, especially right now is like midweek, right? I, uh, let's read this last one. I think there are no issues about hiring fresher. The issue is they don't even understand the fundamentals of computer science when the degree was in CS and the expectation of the salary are that of an experienced. True. I will love to hire someone when there is a role who has gone through your courses and can showcase their skills with an attitude to learn. Yeah, I think um, right now this whole cybersecurity thing is being sold as this big, you know, like it's almost like to me, it's almost sounding like it's an entrepreneurship where self-study, take these certifications and you will land your first six figure job easy, right? No experience needed. You know, some would advocate and sell the position like that. Or a lot of YouTubers will say, uh, you know, there's so many positions out there. You don't have an, you don't need experience. Just take the certifications put yourself in the market filter yourself through hr take like the ceh or certain security plus or cissp even though you don't have the experience even though you don't have the experience which is a requirement for certain certifications to have years of experience in order to obtain the full certification if you don't you're basically an associate and if you're an associate you don't really you haven't really earned the credentials to become that person that is certified in that Okay, so that's that's pretty much what that is. But I do want to go over one quick thing on also LinkedIn is this, right? I just did a simple search of cybersecurity within the United States. There's 101,000 results that came back. But the first one threw me the hell off, right? A wine director. I'm like, what the hell is that? Okay, maybe it's miscategorized. But if we keep going down principal security engineer, senior lead IT risk and cybersecurity, there is a lot of positions here. I mean, 100,000 is no joke. Even if you spread that across the United States, you know, maybe one state would have more than others, but we're averaging, you know, 101,000. And I'm sure there's pretty much more that's out there that's probably not even advertised on LinkedIn. It may be direct, meaning their um, company directly co from company websites or another job search platform, right? Because LinkedIn is not the only one. And possibly and i know for a fact actually not every organization agency state city federal post their jobs on linkedin they have their own proprietary website that would that that they would do all that right so it's crazy that we have all these jobs right no one is saying that there's not enough jobs but there's plenty of people who are saying i can't get a job right because i don't have the experience which is like, so where is it that we, we stand right now? Just now I'm going to go down a little deeper, uh, entry level. We have 32,000, 32,000. And this is very deceiving because even for entry level cybersecurity on site, they're giving me a range of 125,000 to 170,000. And this is supposed to be entry level. That's insane. But let's, let's go over. I'm just going to focus. I'm going to kind of pick this one, Berk Berkeley Research Group. And let's see what the, what? How is this entry level? Five years of experience. That is my point, guys. Um, that is insane. They, they, false advertisement is what I call this. Five years of experience for entry level. All right. And getting pays of uh, experience level cybersecurity experts. 
it's insane. Uh, and this is not the only job posting or, or, or company that's doing this. Everyone is doing this. It's like they're trying to build up this fake market and they're just letting vacancies sit there because there's no way that an entry level can be filled into this position. And if you're overqualified, meaning you have the years of experience and you enter this and they see that you've been doing this and then they'll come back and say, well, you're overqualified now. Where does it ever end? So how do you get around this? How do you, that the only way you can get around this, and this is the final answer, is the only way you can get around this is take your resume and just blast it out there, every position, anything, because it, it's quantity over quality at this point. Every organization is going to treat this resume that you send to them differently, right? They're either going to look at you and say, you know what? I want to give this guy a shot. He has no experience, but he has lab, like he has experience with this. He has this certification or certificate. You know what? Let's give him an offer and see what he does. But maybe, you know, you graduated from a, a particular university and the hiring manager look at it. Oh, I, I came from that university or I'm from that town. You know, it's like it's such a personal preference amongst hiring and looking at resumes and filtering them. You know why? You know how I know this? Because I do it. I do the same thing. I'm like, oh, oh, this guy went to the same school as me, right? And we grew up in the same neighborhood. Like that's that. Unfortunately, you can't, you cannot like, you can, you could kind of like mix that in, in, in your criteria. No, but not officially. All right, let's, let's backtrack that. You can't write that down on paper. Like, oh, you have to had attend this university or this school or lived in this town, but it just shows like there's human nature involved where like I have a personal relationship with someone who is more familiar with the things that I did right as a hiring manager. And that's the, that's unfortunately that's, that's where it comes down to because so again, my answer to all this is you have to blast your resume to anything and everything. It's almost like, oh, you know, it's like you have to, like if you catch a fish in a, in a lake, you can't be greedy at this point because, you know, cybersecurity individuals, there may be a lot of us, right? There's a lot of people out there who have studied and have certifications and have earned uh, their credentials. And it, there's equal amount, possibly even more jobs than there are people. But how is it possible that these jobs are all sitting vacant and all these cybersecurity individuals who have studied, you know, went to universities or not, earned a degree or not, have certifications or not, not landing these positions because I think a lot of the companies and organizations are looking for something that doesn't exist. And because of that, you're going to have to take your chances and just keep on, keep on at it. And that's the, that's the downside to landing a job. Uh, you may not land a job with the company that you initially wanted to and you get an offer from another company uh, or an interview from another company and be like, hey, you know, we have this going on. So what do you do at this point? Because you're not working and you need to live and survive. So you need to earn a living. You may just take it up because that will allow you to gain your experience. All right. So in short, that's where we are. And did I show this? I think I did show this. I don't want to mess up. Uh, like I said, and now I forget, but you know, it's again, it's Wednesday. I said this was an entry level job with a five year experience required uh, qualification, which is insane. And posting up salaries that are in the range of experience level. So why are they posting this up in the entry level? We'll take this one. The second one, for example, this is a entry entry level and the range of super senior cybersecurity specialists or whatever engineers up into the 191,000. Let's look really quick. Is there any requirements that you have to have X amount of years of experience? Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but I won't be surprised if they do. Let's see a minimum of four plus years of relevant experience. That is insane guys. Insane. All right. I want to thank you guys for being here. Please remember to hit that like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again really soon.